Y'all already know we're hitting that young freestyle tip today. And we're going to see what's what. You make me feel things. Who making you feel what? Who, what's, what we got going on? Look, we got cards falling up. Look, spirit been clowning this morning. I'm trying to tell y'all. The readings have been very powerful. Um, you make me feel things, okay? I come alive with you. Talk to me. You deserve better than me. Woo. I can't be with you right now. I have an addiction. Baby. Y'all see, that left me speechless. That left me all kinds of speechless. Hold on. Power of touch. This is somebody that they're longing. This person is really longing for some type of love and touch and nurture. Um, I'm getting the vibe that this is a divine masculine. And he really is in need of real, pure, true love. Um, we see how tumultuous his relation his uh emotions are okay it's some issues with his crown chakra um he really needs to find somebody where they're kind of thinking the same and on the same page so they can help him get through some of this mess he's going through maybe he's a virgo okay we're getting earth sign energy Definitely earth, earth sign energy. We're getting the crystal energy, lapis lazuli. I know some of y'all out there probably like, oh, you know, y'all do y'all crystal thing. Um, he needs a woman that he can really communicate with. Okay. This is a man that <clears throat> he's in a space where there's a lot going on emotionally. I'm seeing someone who may have even just gotten out of some type of jam. Maybe he was in prison. Um you know, uh, he was having child support problems or this man is troubled. This is a very troubled masculine energy. What do we see here again? We pulled again, soft touch. This man is so in need of a nurturing feminine energy in his life. He's desperately in need of that. Okay. Um, and he needs, we're getting the same messages. Once again, the kindred seeker, he needs somebody that wants what he wants, that needs what he needs. Okay. Uh, somebody that, again, we see this feeling like he's coming alive. He needs a very lively woman. Someone to inspire him. This man is coming through depression. He just beat a hell of a situation. He may have even just beat a case. And he had been sitting in jail for a while, you know, trying to figure out what was next. Not knowing if he was ever going to get his life back. And now he's back out here. And he's just so in need. He's in need of love, you know. He's dealing with this addiction. He needs a love revolution. He needs a woman that can just come into his life and just basically spin him a whole new universe. He's looking for that type of woman, okay? He's looking for a woman to be there, to be a body, to be the person in his life, to be the mainstay person in his life, okay? Because we see out the gate, this man has a lot of passion and a lot of love to give, but we saw that I can't be with you right now. You deserve better than me. This man has been through so much, y'all. That his self-esteem is shaky and he just really needs, again, we saw earth sign energy for him. He just really needs a lady that can step in and kind of be his inspiration. I'm seeing a lady with a really sweet temperament, okay? She would be a lady that laughs a lot. Um, I'm seeing a, maybe a lighter complexion. She might be a water sign. This is a very, very, very sweet Well, She may be, she may be somebody with a, um multicultural background this is somebody that really could step in and if she may be educated in multicultural she may have done a study abroad program this is somebody that's that's knowledgeable okay knowledgeable she's a knowledgeable lady right she's a knowledgeable lady and she's able to really kind of see into this man and see what he needs because this man is really in a position okay where he's just kind of hurting not feeling great about himself, really wishing and hoping that um, someone would step in and just show him some love. I'm hearing that song, if anybody's familiar with it, by Anthony Hamilton, Jordan Parker. Um, and it really speaks to male loneliness like this and the need for somebody to rescue them. You know, if y'all don't know that song, Anthony Hamilton, Georgie Parker is one of the cutest, sweetest, deepest most soulful songs you ever will hear. Check it out. It really applies to the masculine that this reading is speaking to. Okay. Um, but we got to find out about this addiction first. I ain't forgot. Y'all Y'all thought I was asleep, didn't y'all? Uh, Queen of Wands. 
Queen of Wands energy. That's what he's looking for. A very passionate, matriarchal, fiery woman to help him build a family would be a blessing to him. Somebody that can help even teach him about money. He doesn't know much about this stuff. He has missed a lot of years. Um, he really is looking for somebody that will help him with his heart condition. His heart is kind of shut down. This man is wounded, y'all. I ain't from the front. This is a wounded masculine. And he, he would need a woman that, that is um, just very gentle and kind of heart. Um, that is in her high priestess energy, right? Where she's feminine. She perceives a lot of things and knows what to do about them. She isn't so much of a talker. She just perceives things and she knows what to do about them. Okay. And she would have to be willing to just kind of take a leap of faith with him, you know, and just kind of see where things lead. And she would be open to that. She's not a woman that's kind of sitting back, you know, being critical. She's not very, um, mouthy. She just doesn't have a lot to say or to talk about. Okay. Um, so, but we want to talk about this addiction. Right? Like I say, we, we ain't, we ain't forgot, we ain't got to sleep at the wheel. We want spirit to go ahead and kind of walk us into what is it this man is dealing with because there is some stuff going on with him that is under the surface. Okay. We see that seven of swords in reverse. One thing we can say is that he's come to terms with it. He's not sneaking around. Whatever this addiction is. Yes. He has come to terms with the fact that he's dealing with it. Um, it is something that he's been getting spirit. He's doing spiritual work for five of pentacles in reverse. He's doing spiritual work. He is inside of a church, perhaps maybe even a Christian church or maybe a mosque. And he is trying to work through it and get some help with it. Okay. Knight of pentacles. He's put money into trying to get through this. Um, it's something that he has, he was afflicted with from childhood, six of cups in reverse. It is something that he's always dealt with. Um, something that may have even run in his family because we do see a faded energy with the will of fortune four of cups in reverse. Okay. This man deals with a certain amount of depression. What I'm hearing is painkillers. He may have had an issue with painkillers or something, Percocets or something like that. Depression, you know, something that slows the body down. Okay. And it took a lot of money out of his pocket as well. Okay. Six of um, pentacles. This thing took a lot out of his pocket. He's, he spent a lot of time, you know, struggling with this addiction. Um, however, we do see him trying to pull it together now. Um, it is no, it's no longer something that he keeps a secret. It's something that he's been very open and direct. He's even battled with himself about high priestess in reverse. You know, he, he was a man that went through a period where people were gossiping about his addiction. Um, his mother was very bitter with him about this addiction. He's been through it. He's been through it in his life, this man, and he's been through it about this addiction, but he has come through some type of help with it, three of cups in reverse. Um, he's embarrassed of it. It's not something he celebrates. He doesn't think it's cute or cool. Um, he doesn't think it was hip. It's not something that he even readily tells people. Um, his mother was somebody that did help him come through it. Queen of Wands energy he has a very strong mother um, who is also an earth sign. She may be um, a Capricorn. Yeah, I'm getting Capricorn energy, Capricorn or Taurus. And she really helped him get through it. She also spent money on his treatment. Okay. She's somebody that truly did invest in him trying to put his life back together. He has that type of mother. Okay. Um, and he lost a lot to this addiction. He lost jobs. He had different things that he went through. You know what? He lost money to it. This man may have even been selling this stuff. And then he got strung out on it himself. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting King of Swords in reverse. Um, he kind of lost touch with reality. He lost money and touch with reality due to this addiction. I'm kind of getting the vibe that it didn't start off that way. It didn't start off that way. Ten of Swords in reverse. It did not start off that way. It did not start off that way. Okay, when it started off, everything was all good. Four of Wands. It was happiness. He may have been in partnership with some other people. They was in the street. Everything, everything, everything was cool. And then things just got away from him. Nine of Swords in reverse. He's just now waking up from it, coming back from the nightmare, the court cases, the addiction, the treatment programs that he was assigned to go through from a judge, judge in reverse, a judgment in reverse um, that he was assigned to go through. He's just now coming through those things. And now he's like, Shush, oh, my God, you know what I'm saying? And so he's met this wonderful woman that is just making him like just come alive through and through. And. He's got all these things he's ashamed of from his past where, you know, he went through some different things that he's not necessarily proud of. OK, so this man has had a tough go of it. Um, 
period. And he's very concerned. He's concerned about being able to achieve and receive harmony with you. But this is a godly man. He's a man that will go to God for guidance, for wisdom. Like he's not just out here bad. He sees you as a privileged lady, you know, a lady of like, oh my God, you know, she's comes from this different background. She's collegiate. Okay. He feels like you're the type of person that would detox a friend, a friend like him, detox your friendships. He's like, you know, she wouldn't want to hang out with me. You know, that type of vibe. Okay. This man exercises. He's very fit. He's really trying to get himself back together. He's really trying to get to where he's official. We see official person here. He really wants to be one of those guys. He just, you know, has made bad decisions as a young person. And now he's trying to pull it back together. You know, he's also trying to work on getting his job situation together so that he can be a better father for his child. So this is a man who has a good heart. However, he has been through hell and back. Um, he has a lot of sadness and regrets on how he's previously lived. His life, don't get it twisted. This is not a man that's proud of anything that he's done. There is a point where he will come to you and confess these things. Okay, and just let you know that he would like a commitment with you. However, whoop, however, his past is, you know, his past is what it is. And um, he's ashamed, but he will try to come to you and talk about it. Um... You would have to have patience if you're going to deal with this man because he's, you know, he's been through it. He has things. He doesn't even know how to be in this type of relationship. Um, and he will be patient. However, the thing about him is, you know, you have to consider whether or not you want to move on. However, keep in mind that if you do think, because this is a, he's a pretty decent guy. He just got to come back through some things, um, you know. If you were to just immediately move on from him, okay, the next person you move on to may not have as good of a heart as this man, although he may have manifested more. We get narcissist energy if you move on right away. Um, that he just may have more and this other man will continue to spy on you. And desire intimacy with you. He really likes you. He just doesn't quite know a lot. You know what I'm saying? He's still, he's got to, he's just got to come back from what he's been through. So, the decision is up to you. Um, if you did actually get into a relationship with this man, okay. If you just went on and took the plunge and was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get with him and give him a chance. If you were to do that, okay, we see the magician, we see the ace of swords. This dude is pretty thorough, okay? Um, not very communicative, though. He tries to get around communicating, but he would hold on to you for dear life. He would really be there for you, and he would do his best. He may not talk as much. He's not really a talker, but he would give you everything that he had. He would try to make you his queen. Um, you would fall in love with him. Like he's a pretty dope guy and he would give you the best that he could. That's what this man's superpower is. He will give you the best that he can. Um, he's got a lot of regrets, a lot of shame, a lot of sadness, but he would indeed give you the best that he could. This is um, an earth sign male energy, like I said. And he also has a strong matriarch in the background who he does have a great deal of respect for, which is always a good indication for romantic relationships. So if you like what you heard um, and you enjoyed it, you know, please feel free to uh, like, share, and subscribe with anyone else that you may you think may feel the same. You know, and y'all went on ahead and caught that good old Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, and I will see y'all in the next one.